Hiring programmers is expensive. It costs hundreds, if not thousands of dollars just to get an app demo running, let alone releasing a full-fledged product. But if you know how to vibe code, you'll bypass some of these issues right from the get-go. After this Base44 AI tutorial, spoiler alert, more like Base44, because it's that good, you'll learn all the basics to build your dream app at little to no cost, all thanks to vibe coding. And to build apps online even cheaper, make sure to snatch my discount from the description below, because why overpay when you don't have to? If you haven't been following all the AI trends, you might be asking, what is vibe coding exactly? Let me help you catch up. Vibe coding is a very Gen Z-esque way of saying programming with the help of artificial intelligence. AI tools that leverage conversational interfaces can now be used to build apps. In fact, it's no longer a novelty, but an actual viable business strategy, especially for those entrepreneurs with no previous coding experience. So if you're more of a visionary than a coder, good news, you can go right at it all by yourself. And that is a great place to start our Base44 tutorial. Base44 is a standout AI tool that the vibe coding community loves. And honestly, for good reason. I mean, you'll see me vibe code an entirely new app slash service just for this video to showcase Base44's real life capabilities. So while I talk, feel free to open Base44 AI yourself via the link in the description and start building alongside me. Base44 setup is simple. First, we need to log in. I signed in via Google SSO. I recommend you do the same because it's the easiest way to get going. Once you are logged in, you'll see this chat box in the middle of the screen. This is where you'll fill in your genius ideas for new groundbreaking apps that will take entire industries by storm. Hey, we should dream big, right? I already have an idea that I wanna to put to the test. I decided to build a productivity app for task management called Taskflow. I agree it's not the flashiest idea out there, and there are existing tools for that already, but they're expensive. So I figure why not build one for myself and try to lower the price point. So I prompt Base44, explaining everything I need in my task management platform. I like to keep the core instructions in my prompts simple because I find that currently even the best AI tools like brief prompts better, no matter how clear lengthy your instructions might be. I find it's more effective if you break down instructions into snippets. Also, the initial instructions matter a lot, so make sure to spend some time thinking them through so you can lay the most robust groundwork possible. My other advice is that if you're unsure if your prompt is clear enough or if you just want to improve it, don't hesitate to ask ChatGPT or any other AI companion for help. Yes, it's a very meta thing to do, but at this point, AI can even help refine prompts or create new ones from scratch. Yes, at this point, AI can even make suggestions on how to improve itself. On the left side of the screen, you can see the full prompt that I used. I instructed Base44 to use warm tones, have an easy to read at a glance UI, and to include all the core features I want, including smart task management assignment, a task delegation dashboard, task status, my own task views, and a team workload view. This is what Base44 came up with straight out of the gate. Not too shabby. I like the overall design, but it does feel like some core functionality for task readability is still not quite there yet. The point is to spend as little time as possible managing your workload so you can be productive on the tasks that are actually important. And so far, task flow has not gotten me there, at least not yet. So let's improve it. First, I'd like to move the dashboard from the top middle of the UI to the left side of the screen and make it vertical. That's what I tell Base44, and here goes. Shuffling the UI element takes some time, but it gets the job done and rather quickly. Next up in our vibe coding tutorial, let's preview the app itself. Everything seems to be working well. The UI is responsive and the functionality is there, but I'm still not satisfied with the app's readability. For example, the status of the tasks and the categories don't stand out at all, which of course is critical for a task management app. So I asked Base44 to mark task statuses and category fields with different color schemes. For example, in progress is now marked with orange, and the category, like social media posts, is marked with darker tones, like navy blue. Now these results I'm pretty happy with. Even so, there are other things I can see that still need to be improved. I plan to share this app with my team, and there's no space for clearly viewing the tasks I delegated to other members or for seeing what tasks are delegated. So I prompted Base44 to add this to the dashboard. 
my application is now ready to be deployed. Yes, it's still rough around the edges, but let's not forget it only took me a couple of minutes to build this thing. We can always revisit its development as we continue using it, iterate on it, and figure out what else we need from this app as time passes. That said, Taskflow is just one of the almost infinite examples of what you could build with Base44. Vibe coding a website is just as easy. So is building a mobile app for budgeting your finances or whatever else you can think of. It's safe to say there's no limit to the ideas you could put to the test with vibe coding. You can see a couple other examples I came up with on screen right now, all of which took me mere minutes to create. Imagine what you could accomplish if you spent more meaningful time vibe coding a full-fledged business website or an entire brand. That's it, you now know how to create an app with vibe coding. If you're already curious and want to try Base44 out for yourself, click the link for easy access and a great price. But how is Base44's pricing? Is it affordable? I'm happy to say that yes, it really is, especially compared to the hundreds and thousands of dollars you'd spend on a dedicated programmer to build an application for you. But unlike programmers, AI won't ghost you for two months when you need changes. There are quite a few plans to choose from, and I personally use the Builder plan. I was initially thinking of going with the starter subscription, but I'm happy that I didn't. One credit equals one prompt or integration, and the starter plan offers 100 per month, which isn't enough for all the projects that I've been coming up with. Meanwhile, the Builder plan comes with 250 credits for building a website or app, and it also comes with other benefits like a domain connection too. However, if you're planning on vibe coding entire stacks, consider upgrading to the Pro or Elite scriptions, as they offer the most credits and features, like premium support. Overall, Base44 is surprisingly flexible and affordable for what it is, a rarity for AI tools which are too often very costly. So what are my main takeaways after testing out Base44? It's safe to say that vibe coding has immense value. It helps bridge the gap between software engineering pros and complete novices who haven't dabbled with code at all. Of course, veterans with coding experience have the upper hand, but that's only natural. The point is with Base44, anyone can build an app now and get great results, as long as you have an idea and the willingness to try it out. If you'd like to see more examples of how to vibe code a particular project, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to click the link below to save some money. That's it for me for now. Have a good one. See ya.